Hello. Hello. This is DJ Black Power. We live in the city of angels. What's the time right now? Giving you the tunes for your head top. lost lost because jesus whipped you at the cross 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 you're defeated satan you've been beaten 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 because of the lord your lunch was eaten 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 and when you feel the temptation of the devil try not to let yourself get worried and disheveled 
remind old Satan that he has been defeated because God's work at Calvary has been completed. You're defeated, Satan. I am Jesse Camp. And we are here this evening for Sustain, Sustain the Scene. We're so Woo. excited. Thanks for joining us, guys. We're, we're so happy to be here. I'm really happy to be here with my lovely oh. co-host. Man, I am like three bugs in a rug with <laughs> Nina. And you guys have probably seen us perform at Largo or the Improv uh, years and years ago as uh, Feathered and... Tar. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, well, guys... You know, we're here for a very specific reason, and that is to sustain the, scene. sustain the scene. And also to just talk about how, you know, we all miss live events, don't we? We all miss all of these incredible venues in Los Angeles have gone dark. It's a really, really sad thing, and we're, we want to be here to support them. And you guys at home can support them in so many incredible ways. You know, live music is so, so, so important. Live music, live comedy, live performance in general. Yeah. And it's really like the lifeblood of Los Angeles and a lot of metropolitan cities. Any city, actually. I mean, it's yeah. almost a, a, a year ago to this week that, you know, lockdown really began. And the pandemic, you know, really took us all. 
Yeah, it's really sad. And a lot of these venues have not been able to sustain themselves because, you know, they're not restaurants. They, they don't have a lot to, to give except for provide a great space. Their for main people. revenue came from concerts and shows. Exactly. And, and nightly dance parties such as Save the Robots or Connect with the Leprechaun <laughs> or my favorite night, a mustache named Rhonda. <laughs> yes. Well, I may not be able to go to a mustache named Rhonda unless I look in the mirror because I named my mustache Rhonda. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that the lights went out on Broadway and they haven't opened in over a year and it's breaking my heart and these local music venues they're the ones that are at the, the highest risk and because they've lost, they've lost they don't all these have jobs a, a, for a, a giant you know, corporation yeah, that they owns do. them. They're independent venues. Yeah. And a lot of people that work there have lost their jobs. You know, a lot of people that are musicians yeah. for a living, they don't have any sustainable income. So imagine if yeah. you went to college, if you will. I don't know how many of you have because our demographic is, well, hey, if you're college educated or if you have a PhD or if you're like me and, you know, you took a couple courses at the Learning Annex, it doesn't <laughs> matter what kind of student you are, you're up kicking live and breathing and I know you have a beautiful mu musical heart and so that's the amazing part if you make a donation to sustain the scene tonight I just learned all about this you can get what they call a tax refundable donation what? you can make a tax refundable yeah, it's donation tax refundable <laughs> but I mean, uh, yeah you can go on sustainthescene.com there is a great drop down menu on the right hand side if you're on your phone and from there you can donate directly to sustain the scene. You can also go on Postmates. A lot of these venues are offering f delivery, so you can sustain the scene with food orders, alcohol orders, yeah, which you can imbibe as you watch this incredible show. And I'm really excited to get to the show too. We have some amazing artists Great tonight. artists. We have Vinyl Williams. Oof. Okay, girl pool. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, first about Vinyl Williams. The, the uh, Lionel Williams has one of the best uh, hairs, uh, heads of hair, if you will. Um, you know what? If I was a head of state, I'd want to be head of hair. Head of hair. But you have a great head of hair, Jesse. I thank you very much. You know, but we also have Girl Pool playing as well. Shout out to Chaz Dean, by the way. Talking about great hair, Chaz Dean is going to help out now. Although he's not a music venue, I'm getting word that Chaz Dean, Beverly Hills hair stylist and hair maven just made a $25,000 cash donation to sustain the scene. Chaz, dude. What a great guy, super generous. Also, we have DJ Black Power. He's DJing here. Too. Also, we have another Chastity on the show. Chastity Bono is not here. He had some the wrong cue card. traffic yeah. issues. Yeah. Let's hear um, from some of the people who make up these venues and, and how incredible they are. And it's uh, a lot of the staff and the owners and how important these venues are to them. Let's kick it to them. I'll never forget where I was. It was, it was March 11th and I was leaving a show having just seen The Rapture. A fitting band to see as the uh, pandemic was about to go into full effect. We thought maybe it'd be a couple months, but we didn't know a lot. So we kept being hopeful and it just get, kept getting extended and extended and extended. I was like, this will last like two, three months. Here we are 364 days later and uh, yep. All of our sound guys, all of our light techs, like they're just waiting for work. We've had a handful of like really great video shoots. I was like, oh, maybe we could start sort of doing things with, uh, with streaming. That's the biggest thing that I'm doing is just like finding new opportunities and trying to get like anything happening in this room. It's been very tough. My partner and I, we cut into our personal savings, cashed in things, just so we could help pay the utility bills on a building that's dark. <laughs> a lot of venues are closing. Some of my favorite places are probably never opening up again. It's depressing, I wish there was like something better I could say. At one point, I thought, why are we sticking this out if this is costing us our own personal um, savings? And then uh, my partner's Friends who are big fans of the bar said, why don't you start a GoFundMe page? And that's nothing that we'd ever think about. We'd never ask for money for free. It was phenomenally successful. We met our first goal in a little over 24 hours. Independent clubs like this are the kind of lifeblood of the music scene. Before 
those bands get to, you know, the forum or the main stage at Coachella, they come through places like this. And without that, like, it's inconceivable, I guess, is the way I would put it. We felt absolutely jubilant that so many people didn't want to see this bar go away. So we are going to come back. And I think we, we have an obligation to not only the fans of Akbar who gave us all this money, but I think we have an obligation to the city of Los Angeles, to Silver Lake, because the nightlife of Los Angeles is very, very valuable. That's why we love this, this town. We want to bring back the nightlife that it had. It might come back at a fraction of what it was a year ago, but it'll, that'll be worth it. We're back, guys, and as you can tell, it's pretty somber that all of these venues have gone dark. And, you know, I miss venues so, so much. I miss going out, I miss dancing, I miss seeing. I miss really seeing cool that manly mug of um, Scott Craig. He's yeah. a handsome devil over there at Akbar. Yeah, it really is. That's a really, really fun spot, too. Yeah, That's definitely. So, Scott's your type? Big time. Big time. Yeah. Big time. And there's just something about a man in a jean shirt that really um, gets it going for you. Yeah. Yeah. Not Jay Leno though. Oh, you didn't like that Canadian tuxedo look on him? Okay. I well, will tell you, I once got funky in a Burger King bathroom, um, and I'm then crazy. went to Akbar. Okay. But yeah. you can't do that anymore. You can't even use a Burger King bathroom right now. <laughs> Honestly, like you could technically, I think, go inside the lobby of a Burger King and order. You can't use the bathroom anymore. That's a bummer. I mean, yeah. But you know, it's not a bummer. I interviewed Vinyl Williams, oh. which we're going to watch. And then we're going to watch them play. Vinyl Williams. We're yeah. talking well, about. How's that for a segue, guys? Leon, 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 Leon. Leon Williams. Leon Williams. <laughs> I don't know why that was such a twister of the tongue. This is amazing, guys. You're gonna you're gonna freak on this. We got our beautiful, amazing Nina Tar with all of the hunks of Vinyl Williams. It's an amazing package. And then some Vinyl Williams live music. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Let's uh, let's watch it, right? I'm liking this. Okay, with Vinyl Morgan Williams. Sweating. Hey guys, how Hi, are hey. you? What do you guys miss about live shows the most? I mean, that's just such a huge part of our lives. Not yeah. only do we play shows, but we run shows. Yeah. So it's totally. like, our shows are our life, you know? How have you guys kind of like circumnavigated your energy into other stuff? Working on music. Yeah, yeah. live streams. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's hard to find a thing that is as amazing as the physical shows, but I think this has been an inner exploration. You know, before we would have, I'd have so many other commitments of life. This is a very low commitment era that we're in, and you can really focus in on your craft That's if true. you have the time. I mean, the time is almost up. Start practicing now. You bring up a good point. There's, there's light at the end of this kind of proverbial tunnel that we've been in. Well, what is like the thing that you guys are looking forward to most about performing live again? Well, for one thing, we are a new group now. Spooky has joined the band, yes. which is an amazing Newly. new addition. Yeah. And then this is the first time we're playing together for this, so this is like a moment, you know? Wow, yeah. so this is the first time you guys are playing at As all. this group. Yeah. yeah. We were yeah. supposed to do a live stream a few months ago, but then I got COVID. So. You got COVID? Oh my God, tell yeah. me everything. And how was it? What were you wearing? Explosive <laughs> hot lava diarrhea. Oh. <laughs> At all times. Yeah. On the interview. <laughs> hey, gotta, gotta keep it honest. Yeah, no, I, like I love honesty. I really bring it out in people. <laughs>
watch the best show, Worst Show. Let's talk about Worst Show. <laughs> What's that awful place we all played in New Orleans? Oh, I was oh, going to tell. I was, the Mudlark. The Mudlark. The Mudlark. That was still a cool that place, though. That was the worst show. <laughs> was, okay. it's, so it's a haunted puppet theater. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, cool. it's an amazing but, place. But yeah, you don't want to go. But there was no sound guy. <laughs> the only person that came was the Swiss ambassador of Switzerland because we were touring with Klaus Johan Groh, who's a Swiss band. I'm here to see Klaus Johan Groh. Yes, so uh, Spooky's also in a band called Pot MT. And when, I, when we played the Mudlark, I had to run sound for all the people because I was the only person who could do it, I guess. And by the time that we played, the PA was broken, and we couldn't even play. We played like half a song, and then their, the PA cut out. Oh my goodness, that was, you that was all like the way the to ultimate, New Orleans. That was the ultimate, like, oh my god, I mean, god, New Orleans what am is I doing? a pretty great place to be stuck in. It was great. In. I love it's a great place. We love it. It's a great place. place. Okay, and it, all and right, it well now, like, now we'll do the, the flip side of this, best show. Days. Desert Days. Aww. That was amazing. Both Desert Days is the 2017 at the Institute for Mental Physics. I was there. That was the most mind-blowing show, because it was just outside. All the wind oh, the was blowing, and the were, curtains oh, were yeah. blowing. Was, Everything was going completely wrong when we were setting up, which is like all my nightmares I recurringly have. And I was like, I'm just going to say a little prayer, and everything's going to be fine. <laughs> and then everything was fine, and it was the best show ever. And then the next year was also the best show ever. Desert and your days. finger was and I, remember? And I was in a, I was in a I forklift that. crane dropping a UFO on the Nonplus Ultra installation, and then the chain that was holding the UFO cut my finger, and I had to play a show. It doesn't, but it didn't hurt. His finger that was so messed up. It, I mean, we got through the whole show, and it was fine. Adrenaline. The adrenaline yeah, the adrenaline. Yeah. Is there any kind of like honorable mentions you want to give to some of your favorite like venues in LA? This is one of my favorite venues. I love the Watchers. Yeah, Watchers so yeah. rules. They got Watcher. this Masonic temple. Yes, yeah. they got it. Yeah. This is my aesthetic. Okay. Mine too. I love Zebulon. You know. Oh, it's always, I've nice. seen so many rad artists there. Such great just, curation. And the Echo has always been good to us. You know? And Not Plus like, Ultra. And like, Plus, I don't want to just, you know, name drop I, know. I would have said that. I know, I'll do it for you. But <laughs> we're going to continue on as safely as we can. And well, so whenever things are free or open again, you know, we're going to slowly start to do, doing it again. Venues do need the support right now because that kind of interaction can never be replaced by anything. And when things open up again, I just want to see a fountain of human beings just like fountain, just like yeah, foliating on each other. Yeah, to come out. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, right. Right. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so lovely and incredible. And thank you so much for being a part of this and helping us save venues and therefore helping us give artists like yourselves a great platform. So oh, yeah, thanks. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay.
caught us getting down with that amazing DJ work. DJ Black Power. Boom. So good. So he good. is a scratcher, and I'm not talking about a lottery ticket. Yeah, we're talking about a vinyl DJ. Really good. And we heard from Vinyl Williams, speaking of. Yeah. So good, right? Yeah. And I got to talk to those boys. Absolutely. I like Vinyl Williams more than Montel Williams because, you know. Paternity hey, tests. The, yeah. I may be the father of um, several of our viewers tonight. And so, you know what? Um, honestly, a way you can make a connection with the father that walked out of your life is to 
help daddies. Okay, that sounds bad. I don't know much. Are you gonna propose to me? But I know I love you. Oh wow, I love you too. And I love you guys. That may be all we need to know. Oh, God. Look at these eyes. You know that I could use some clear eyes. <laughs> I was gonna say, Yeah. Aaron Neville and Linda Ronstadt, you're probably saying, Jesse, how did those two get together to collaborate? Well, they were having an amazing night at Dan Tana's right next to a very infamous Santa Monica staple of a music venue owned by Doug Weston. But tonight, I didn't want to mention other music venues because we would love to save all of them. All but of them. But tonight we're, we're focusing. Yeah, on, on, on a few incredibles. We got Axel, we got the Eagle, we got the Lash. Okay, so Jules Pitts. Yeah, she'll catch one. Oh yeah, oh, but I got a feeling with her fishing pole, she could catch two. Very and good. you better catch some donation fever. Have you caught it? Do you have it? If you're coming down with a case of donation fever, please visit sustainthescene.com because yes. they would love your donations. So we QVC, but and booze. come here. Order food and booze from Postmates can be straight delivered to you. And you can also just make a tax deductible donation straight to Sustain the Scene. There's a lot of ways you can support in the community. Have you made a lot of income this year? Don't report it and or don't get tell your friends about it. If you're gonna, no, report all your income. But listen, how to get your tax bill down? Um, support and donate to sustain the scene for that tax deductible gift that that these venues can really appreciate. Now, Absolutely. we want to again say a big thank you to Chaz Dean, who has just donated $100,000 and a baby yacht. Can we accept? A baby yacht? Oh, can is people that a donate yacht? vehicles? I, I guess so. I, think I know that for does public it. radio, yeah. they're happy to get your junker. Money for your clunker goes to them. But maybe us too. Listen, if you have gold, you know, that you were going to bring, don't take the time to, um, basically, I'll give you guys a hard address. We'll put it on the website if you want to bring us, you know, valuables and things that we can turn into money. But if you have a lot of money right there, we'd love then, it. We'd love to have it. Hey, also, Jesse, you have Not a us lot of personally. Again, yeah. big shout out to my uh, parole officer, Mrs. Atkins. Um, again, you taught me a lot about uh, putting protein in my diet, but also really thank you for letting me do this. And um, I, I appreciate it. I understand it won't count as my community service. That's okay. Just thank you very much. And we it's will get great. a cup of Jesse's clean urine to you right after the broadcast, we promise. Yes. But actually, and it right, will not be lemon lime Gatorade. Not again. Uh, we right now want to hear yeah. from some of actually some great people in the LA music scene and uh, oh. some of your friends of yours who did some great cameos and amazing and, characters coming up here. Yeah, pretty exciting. So some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lovely people, lovely people, and some hunkaramas. <laughs> What's up? Danny here from Surf 4 and also Hi. Sean from Surf 4 and we're here because we love sustain the scene and venues are so important to us. Venues are life. I keep having vivid dreams of playing crazy shows at venues and it feels like that's just like a distant far off thing but they're so important so I want to keep them going and we're really stoked that Sustain the Scene is here to support venues and the whole music community because venues are everything. That's where community comes to like let loose, go wild, and freak out at shows. And yeah, love you guys. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> love you from the puppies. Yeah, music is my life. I'm Ernie C. I'm in a band called Body Count with a guy that everybody probably knows named Ice-T. As a matter of fact, we're up for a Grammy this Sunday, Best Speed Metal Performance. But my man Jesse Camp called me up and said he's doing this thing and he wanted me to be part of it. So here I am, support him, and you're supporting the local music scene, okay? <laughs> Sustain the scene. What's up, rock and roll? This is Keith Robert here from Jesse Camp and the A Street Kids. This is Tiki. And we want to tell you about saving the music in Los Angeles. Please bring the awareness to bringing back live music in LA, all the venues. 
save the musicians, the crew members, the staff members, and the businesses. It's really important to get this music back. The rock and roll capital of the world, Los Angeles. So bring the awareness and spread the word. So thank you from Tiki and me. Rock and roll. Hi, I'm Chip from Enough's Enough. I'm here to talk about my friend's new place, Sustain the Scene, a nonprofit organization that's trying to help all the independent venues around Los Angeles stay alive during this shutdown that has really affected everybody. All the big musicians, the biggest bands in the world, are the smallest bands, all looking for a place to play. We have to keep our venues open. We gotta get our crews back on board. We gotta get everybody working again. And together, we are a big voice. There's never Decadent enough style. chips enough. Oh, yo, yeah, absolutely. We do go hat shopping together. I love this. It's very Kentucky Derby meets uh, kind of Sunday Baptist church. It's very, very becoming. With a touch of Easter. Beautiful. And don't forget, Easter is coming up. And just like Jesus was resurrected from the cross, we need to resurrect Los Angeles music venues. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something I believe deep in my soul, and that is that rock and roll music and gospel music and comedy and amazing food and pastrami and pastrami on rye. Yo, it all goes to that very, very special place. And I'm not talking about your glance, I'm talking about your heart. Rock and roll is what it's all about, and music is what makes you scream and shout. So what I'm trying to scream and shout is that you, you, you can make a difference. That's right, you can go on SustainTheScene.com right now and get this. Are you hungry? Hungry for live music? Well, we're going to serve that to you again later on in the broadcast with um, Girl Pool. Guys, we're going to kick it to a great interview with uh, Girl Pool and then a live performance right after. Are you excited? <laughs> Do pigs fly? <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Thanks for doing the show. You guys sounded really fucking cool. I mean, I know you haven't performed in a long time, so... It's been a about a year. Long, yeah. Longer. Year and, year and a half. half. Yeah. What do you miss the most about performing live? The, the whole thing. The whole, there's a lot. There's a lot. To unpack. I mean, it's like a nice lens to process things through every day, and it's kind of weird not having that because it kind of erupts randomly now, the process, <laughs> I find. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, it's really cathartic to be yeah. able to perform, and then when that's like omitted from your life, you're like, what? Now I just got to cry like a plebeian? Yeah. You know? I think I miss the smells from live shows the most, you know? I do love the oh. smells. All, you know what I'm talking about. I love yeah. the aroma. It's oh. Very yeah. pungent. Yeah. I was wondering if you guys have a particularly fun or funny story from like tour or something or a venue. You peed on stage once. You peed out a window yes. once. We both peed. That's funny. It's some pee stuff. Pee stuff. Yeah. On okay. accident, I peed on stage. On accident? Yeah, I was, she was laughing, laughing at my own joke. That's really? Like she said. It yeah. was in 2016. I was wearing shorts. It was an unfortunate moment. So that's where the name Girl Pool comes from. Yes, me peeing. Yeah, okay. exactly. Me peeing you in a pool. You made a girl pool. Yeah. Hi, we are Girl Pool from Los Angeles, California. What's your name? Harmony. Great. Yep, what's your name? Har this is Harmony and the Stupids. Oh yeah. <laughs> Second guess my focus, are you gonna find me? I let you in Somehow I sit down Revoke the time and space for you to just feel it And a phone call cutting out Back on the bench I fall in To the month I think about How I sold seven dogs When I was lying on your back And I'll meet you in the morning Figure out what gets me past A second in the shade Fucking up a useful place
When you touch me, it's like I'm winning it. I don't wanna be traumatic, but that song pushed us up against in the backseat. I'm just checking, can I be your baby? Oh
Best show, worst show. There's been lows. <laughs> Lots of lows. Oh, man. There's been highs. Okay, let's, there's been lows. Let's hear a fun low. When you were getting your wisdom teeth out. Oh, I got my wisdom teeth and out. you sang? I was on tour and got my wisdom teeth out. Yeah. It was a five-week tour, and it I got mine taken brutal. out like three the, days into the tour. Yeah. Took all the pain meds for it, but because I was singing every night, I developed dry sockets. So there was more pain. So there was more pain. So I called the doc. I'm like, can I get more? He's like, it's I can't give you that drug because it's like a schedule or whatever. My friend gave me some pain meds, I and then I we got pulled over, and I got arrested In for it. Texas. In West Texas. In West Texas. That's Texas, man. I yeah. was driving. That's f tour. Yeah, that sounds really fun. We <laughs> like on it. Harmony really? went through a breakup. Yeah. I got arrested. We went got to jail. Home and my mom finally suddenly got diabetes the day we got back. It was, <laughs> this is like a curse. It was cursed. It was a curse. It was cursed. Yeah. Did you guys do like sprinter van tour or a tour bus? Oh, sprinter. sprinter, yeah. That's the fun one because then you're so close to everyone. Speaking of smells. Lots that, of smells. Lots of smells. And you're the only female in this band, so lots yeah. of smells. You know, I'm actually probably the stinkiest person. Yeah, it's a yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm super stinky. You present as very clean. I can get very odorous very quickly. Odorous. She can get odorous. Yeah, it's polyester. 
It hits different. Those of you who are tuning in here now, Harmony can get very odorous. Very odorous. Especially in polyester. In polyester. Your Shit. PO is better than it used to be. Well, it's because of the hormones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a hormone problem. <laughs> I feel like Harmony I'm, I'm really hormone. learning a lot about it. I have a hormone problem. I used to be more smelly because my hormones She were... used to be more smelly because her hormones were out of balance. We're out of balance, yeah. But now they're better. I smell less now. She smells less now. Yeah. That's now, I'm actually weirdly sad about that. I'm mourning your You're gonna your feel stink. better. You're yeah. gonna feel better in a few minutes. How do you two know each other? How did you guys kind of develop? We met at the smell in LA. Yeah. For real? Yeah, yeah, but I went to high school with Avery's sister yeah. before that. Do you guys remember <laughs> what show it was at the smell? It was a Moses Campbell show. Okay, cool. Yeah. I ditched my high school prom to go to the smell. It's cool. really fun. Right? Cool. I like that. Okay, well, before I let you guys go, what the f*** you guys working on right now? What's new? What's going on? What's kicking kids? Tell me about your life. What's working on mean? a new record. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. 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 It's coming along. It's rich with emotion. It's taking a bit, but it will be completed. Perfectly very- said. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We're very excited about it. I'm excited. Thank you you. Got, you got a new fan here. Well, thank you for doing this. Thank and thanks so for playing much. such a wonderful show. Thanks. thanks. Um, can I have my kombucha back? You're probably saying, yo, quit mooching the boochin, but I'm not mooching it, babe. This is my uh, kombucha. I, I, I gave this to you, though. Mm-hmm. I feel like it doesn't... Ha- Do you know what kombucha is, Jesse? Yeah, this, this comes from the good people of Health ADHD, Health Aid. And um, what's great about this kombucha, let me just tell you, it's fermented in glass, so... Um, Again, if you have auto glass insurance on your car, this is, they, it's a similar, look, I don't know what kind of glass this is fermented with, but it's definitely like the acid I love, window pane. But, um, man, hold on, health aid. It doesn't it's have great any... other stuff. There's real food, it's handcrafted. Yeah. This, it, says, it says small batch handcrafted on the label. This yeah. is giving me big batch energy. <laughs> Is there alcohol in this? Because I think you're... It's you're... handcrafted. I don't know what that means. Guys, but... if you haven't ordered alcohol, by the way, from these venues, you totally can't. So you guys better be soft right now. That's... Okay? Because, you yes. know, Postmates delivers alcohol and all these venues have alcohol. So you can do all of it. You can order food. You can order drinks. You can do all that to keep them sustained. Hello? As though we're, you know, we're so sustained ourselves, you know? <laughs> yeah. Kombucha should not be consumed if left under refrigerated for an extended period of time, pregnant, breastfeeding, number one, congratulations, and number two, consult your doctor. Due to natural fermentation, there may be trace amounts of alcohol. So we're gonna hear actually right now from uh, all of these great, great venue owners. Again, you excited, Jesse? (laughs) Well, I am looking forward to opening up the doors and have it resume what it always has been, which is a neighborhood oasis. It's a joint in Silver Lake where everyone feels comfortable, everyone feels safe. What brings me so much joy and happiness about this bar is seeing the mixture of who comes in the door and how well they get along with everybody else and how damn happy they are to be there. So I just want to see that basic uh, vibe, that just wonderful, good feeling, but I'd also like to see a very busy dance floor. I want to see assholes to elbows. I want to see people having fun. I just want to see more life. You know, we've been we've been all stuck at home for so long. And we want to see, you know, a breath of life, of culture, and of artistic expression. Ah oh, man, that was pretty great, right? Look at Ross. Ross, gorgeous. My dreamboat, Craig, from Akbar. He's, he's an attractive man. And Ross actually dated my mom. A lot of people may not know that, but... Wow, I thought your, your mother's a bit older, isn't she, Jesse? She turns a lot of tricks. You could call her a Jerry trick. A geriatric? That's what I was going for. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that... That's why that, we make a good duo, because I can... I'm still feeling the fermentation of the kombucha. It's you guys settling in. saw earlier. Before that amazing, um, that amazing piece on um, the staff. It's been said many times before, Nina, what don't we like when it comes to staffs? Uh, infections. But what do we like when it comes to staffs? Them working again. And guys, all Lindsey of you- Lindsey Graham, are you fucking kidding me? South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham just donated $100,000 <laughs> and says, oh my God, you better keep Akbar alive. That's my home, away from home, when I'm in Los Angeles. Love, Lindsey 
big ass gram. Woo! Wow, that's amazing. Dude, makes a lot of sense. Thank you. I, 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 I often would see Lindsey Graham in, in West in WeHo and would think to myself, is it? Could it be? And he was always ordering a sassafras, so I figured it's got to be Lindsey Graham. But yeah, um, he's got a booty, and um, thanks to Kamuchi, he can take a pooty. But this is what we're trying to get at. We got all kinds of people, huge names in the blocking um, good bills. Uh, no, Lindsay, you donated $100,000. You're not redeemed. We, I mean, January 6th, I mean, look, listen, no politics tonight, baby. Not when we can sustain the live music venues, the independent live music venues of Los Angeles. And my God, you guys, again, I want to talk more for another long-winded monologue, but I would like Nina wow. to say some stuff that she's got on her thank chest. Thank you so much. Yeah, and that, that yeah. she's been wanting to say. I mean, I, I really want to talk to you guys and thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in. Thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you can you. tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. That's true. Also, if you guys love the performances as much as we did, you can also donate directly to the bands. You can donate to Vinyl Williams directly, as well as Girl Pool, and as well as DJ Black Power. And you guys at home are keeping the lights on at these venues by donating. And I really, really deeply appreciate it. We both appreciate it. Absolutely. Los Angeles, thank you. All the employees at these venues, thank you. All of the bands in LA, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. The people thank that you. work our favorite places. By the way, tune mouth. in next Saturday because we have Bottom of the Pops, right? With oh, uh, Patriarch. Ashley and Patriarch. These guys are insanity. It's like Elvira to some amazing dance music. like. It's like Peter Burns is Dead or Alive meets Bella Lugosi meets Marilyn Monroe. And they're gonna be taking over this exact place next Saturday. If you wanna see Nina and I live, we are going to be doing comedy as Feathers and Tar. Feathered and Tar. Yeah, Tar and Feathers. Tar and Feathers. Yeah, Tar and Feathers. Much better, much, much better. And that naughty show, if you will, will be at the, uh, the outdoor eating tent um, at the Lash, actually, because you can go to the Lash because they're yes. actually open. So yeah, absolutely. And but this like weird like early 2000s dance music, which I think could be Fisher Spooner, is this like signaling us that we have to wrap up, or do we have more time? <laughs> I mean, um, I think we have a little more. Can time, we give a shout out real nice. quick to a couple of the special people here that are sustaining this scene tonight? Coming to you live from the Strangle Vision um, <laughs> Studios. I'll let you know that's not where we are. We are, I don't know where we are. We're, we were, we're at the lodge room. I don't know, don't know if that's true. All I know is that we are here with you and that we are definitely being told a wrap it up sign now. So guys, Thank please you. please just, if you can go sustainthescene.com on your laptop. If you're getting a lap job, you know, then oh, yeah. probably don't have a laptop near your lap. But when you get to your laptop, go on to sustainthescene.com. If you're on your smartphone, just go to the mobile page and you hit the plus sign. And then there's a carousel, my dear, right? Yes, that's correct. That's correct. And guys, please tune in next Saturday again. And also you can catch Jesse and I on April 2nd. And please stay tuned to all Restless Nights, everything. But and thanks. we're not wrapping the show up, right? Okay. into the night and take flight on a pursuit of musical bliss. Chasing beats through ghetto streets to a dungeonous temple left by our soul descendants in a quest for peace, energy, and light. If you would find this temple, do you have the knowledge to enter the temple? Do you want it? And if you had it, would you flaunt it? Well, it's the sure. is yours. It's not a flow and so it's you. It's a fire burn within your heart that's now with yours. If you feel it in your soul, follow the light of you. Acquiring entrance to the temple is hard but fair. Trek through God forsaken elements because the reward is well worth the journey. Stay steadfast in your pursuit of the light. The light is knowledge. Do you want it? And if
Use again. Use again. Use again. 